Hey, right, you guys, I'm back. Today we're going to be reviewing a new collection. It is up on Milk Cosmetics. It's the Beetlejuice collection. Well, I just had the palettes. Like, let me just say that. Um, I'm having to improvise with the phone stand camera thing right now because I can't find my little tripod holder thing. It's just gone. And I'm very upset because it's on my desk. I know it's gone. And I can't, I, I've looked for it for like maybe 30 minutes and I can't find it. I like, it's terrible. Okay, so we have the waiting room palette. I'm going to be using both to make like a Christmas look because like, I want to be in the holiday spirit at work. I primed my eyes with the e.l.f. putty primer. The white one. So the waiting room palette is $58. Two, four, six. Eight, two, four, six, eight, ten. I think it's got ten shadows in that one. And then the recently deceased palette. Um, that one is forty-eight dollars. So this is the waiting room. I already have them out of the box. It's really pretty. Open it up, and their plastic in theirs has an image on it. So it's got that. So this one, like I said, is the waiting room. It's got the reds, grays, and black in it. And then we have recently deceased. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That one had ten. That one was fifty-eight. Here's the recently deceased one. And it also has this a screen image from it. Two, four, six. And this one's got eight shades in it. And I'm going to try to make a Christmas look with these because I want to try them out for you guys, for myself, just because I have them, you know, can't be letting them go to waste. So I have an image in mind. I'm going to go in with Charman from the Waiting Room Palette. I'm going to make an outline. Well, my mirror is like all the way over there, so I should probably move that closer. I have a jumbled mess right now because I have to use improvise with the stand. But we're going to try to get like just an outline, a very harsh outline for right now of like the shape I want, I guess. So I am going to want it like this. But, I'm wondering if my primer sitting for so long is going to affect the overall quality of the shadows. Which doesn't really matter, because do you see how, like, black black this is? Like, wow. I am loving it. And I have recently, like, like the cold I had got worse. So, sorry about the sniffling again. I'm one of those people that constantly catches colds and like flu and all that. I just, uh, I'm very unlucky when it comes to that kind of stuff. As you can tell us, considering everything I've caught this year. And I'm just gonna keep dragging it over. This one looks better than the other side. It'll be fine. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Yeah, I just like that side better. It's just pointier. But I have a rough outline of the shape that I wanted from that. I'm going to go in with... Uh... Uh, we're gonna go glittery with L L Lydia. I don't know why I thought it was a no, but we're gonna go in with Lydia. It's like a shimmery kind of red. Like this. And that's what we're gonna put on top. I'm just gonna rub that right on there. And the pigmentation is amazing! Oh my goodness! That just went straight on. Right. I don't, I don't know what to do about this. Like, wow. Okay, go in with a light hand 
Melt Cosmetics is known for their very pigmented shadows. So if you're like beginning in this, I would very highly recommend to go in with a light hand. So I'm just, the red I'm definitely bringing all the way over. All the way over as such. It did show me that I didn't bring the black over far enough on this eye. Because on the other eye, it's like way there. So let me try to get that to blend in a little bit better. Like so. And it is blending nicely together, okay? So it does mold well together. Get those edges blunt in. Right here. Get them brought over like so. Clean it off a bit. And then rub, 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 rub the edges of that red right there. So it's not so rough like a, it's just a straight up line. Let's rub it out a little. Get a little bit of a smoky effect, a flared out effect. You see what I mean? Maybe not. But in real life, it doesn't look as harsh as it did with that straight application that I did that first round. Okay, so we're going to do this. Get that edge, get that edge. Okay, so we have that going on. And then, from the Recently Deceased palette, we're going to go in with this green. This Paranormal, right there. And same brush, wipe it off. I have the hiccups now on top of everything. We're going to take that green, and I'm going to bring it across the slash line right here. Like this. Just like that. Oops, too far. And I do want to just keep it like this. Oh, like this. So as you can tell, it's still a very dark, grungy look. But, like, I'm still satisfying the <laughs> my works. Like, be in the holiday spirit. I'm not the biggest, like, Christmas fan. But, like, I'll work with it. You know? You know. You'll understand. So we're going to get that green. Bring it down. And across. As such. Why does this eye always turn out better than the other eye? Like, I legitimately want to know. You see what I mean, though? You see how this one's like, yes. Let me be nice, clean cut. And the other one's like, I'm just going to do whatever I want. Go anywhere. Okay. But also, let me see. I'm going to go back in, in this waiting room palette. And that's sandworm. Looks like white. So I'm going to try and see if it is a white. I'm going to try to pack that. Is it a white? It's like a grayish white. It'll work. And I'm going to try to get that in here. And give that. Like a separation right here. Of that white. It's raining outside. To top it off. So. We have that. We have that going on. Get a little bit more, and also on this side, just clean that up. Have that nice little random white in there. Okay. And this is where I try to clean it all up, you know. 
go back in with all the different shades that I already have on there. Try to get it nice and clean. Have it make a little bit more sense. It's up to you how you want to do this section. Because I do have that all right there. Oh, there's a weird fuzz. And I do want to go in with Arbitrary, this one. To add in a little bit more depth right here. Because we just suddenly dropped off with that black. So we're going to do that one, Arbitrary. Just add it in and drag the black down a little bit with it. And just to finish off that edge. Kind of like that. Like so. And then one more time on the other side. Just add it in. Because it does add a little bit more of that depth. Depth. Can't say it correctly. This is my life, I swear. And then, because I just like being extra... And I'm not liking how the other side's going. I do want to add a bit of... Because mm, you see how that, that that's like a bit dark right there for my liking. I want to... I don't think I want to add the green. Or do I want to add the green? I want to see what this, this, this weird like yellowy pukey green looks like. Looks like that. I might... Mm. Maybe. I'm going to try it anyway. We're going to see what happens. It's going to add it in at the very edge of that. Right up here. We're supposed to be like a goal. A goal Christmas. So I guess it works. Or that punk rock goth Christmas vibes is what we're gonna go for, you guys. With it, with the different ones, you know. Nothing wrong with being different. And then adding it to the top over here, that same shade. Oh, I didn't even tell you that one was Vita Juice. So we're doing that, but I do want to add this neurotic one, that little shimmery right there. It's like the yellow, gold, green. Shimmer. That's going to be the highlight right here. Like that. And like this. Yes. I'm liking it so far. That's the good news. <laughs> oh my god. This congestion gets worse when I feel like I need to concentrate and like really focus on what I'm doing. So along with that, I'm going to... Against my better judgment, I'm going to try to tight line the bottom lash line with that one. With the paranormal. Oh, it's such a pretty green. Oh my goodness. I personally love this color. Like, this deep forest green is everything to me oh my goodness like look at that oh okay all right then oh that's so nice and I guess I can outline it a little. Oh, I know what we're going to do. For the inner corner highlight, I want to go in with this one. Juno, that one. That is. I'm going to put it right in here. Oops. That is what I'm talking about. So you see this grungy look? 
I'm enjoying my grungy look. If it's not for you, that's perfectly fine. There's purples in here you can work with that will come out with your nice, um, lighter, fluffier mood. If that's what you're into. And I'm just going in with a very fine, like, densely packed brush to add in the actual shapes in the shading that I actually do want going on. Well, not shading. There's nothing on it. After I got that um, glitter off of it, the shimmer in the corner highlight color. And I'm just going in and, like, blending in the colors the way I want. Because they are so pigmented and densely packed, I want something that will be able to make those colors drag and blend. Because I don't want it so... I don't want it so rough, you know? And I, if you do want... If you notice something you do want to go in and you want to, like, take away from the other color that you think took too far, just add the other opposing color that you laid down. And like cut that off like that like so so we have the eye look is complete mostly I do want to go in with some glitter though you know me and this glitter I do want to add I don't know yet which glitter I want to add because we have hip dots glitter hip dot is a wonderful company for glitter, I will tell you. Oh, there we go. This one. We're gonna add this one. This is Effigy. Effigy from the Glitter Deco Press Pigment Palette. Not Pigment Press Glitter Palette from Hip Dot. So we're gonna go with. Oh, I, I lied. It, it's Le Metro. Le Metro. I left the wrong one, you guys. Sorry. So putting my brush and I'm putting that on top. Of the screen to really emphasize it really emphasize it we're doing so on the other side as well and then in the actual white part I want to do this one deco it's really pretty too I just I can't ignore it and I want that in the white part of the look just to add that magical touch. Because I still like glitter. I like grungy looks, but I like glitter too. And then, I'm wondering, like, to really make it pop in the inner corner, because it is a bit off, in my opinion, just a tad. I think I do want to do, like, a really, this one, pesto, to top off that other shimmer shade from... The Beetlejuice palette. Ooh, I see, I see, I see. There we go. Ugh, ignore my runny nose, please. I'm. Just, you're like, how can I if you're over here sniffling every five minutes? Okay. So let me finish my lashes, my eyebrows, my lipstick. I'm gonna do red. So I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I am back, and this is the finished look. My eyelash is kind of lifting, so it's bugging me. It's just that one inner corner. So I'm going to fix that on camera since I already have you guys here. Hey, why not, right? Why not? Okay, so the inner corner on this one is lifting, and it's kind of long. You see that little extra bit right there? So that's all we're going to do. I'm going to clip that off because that's the only piece that actually is like lifting off of me. The rest of the lash is doing fine. Okay. It's a little bit of extra uh, band in the last end too. So I'm just taking out the little extra little bits of band, lash band that I had. That's all that's really bugging it. I'm going to reapply this because it did take some of it off. Ignore that. Ignore that. Okay, liner is on. Grabbing the lash again. Placing it 
down. Press, 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 press. Make sure it's on there. And that's it. There we go. Okay, so this is the final look. My grungy Christmas look that, you know, I just... Uh, it, it's good enough for what they're asking. I'm thinking. I'm hoping. Ah, uh, I tend to do holiday looks anyway up until the actual holiday, whether it's Halloween, Christmas, Easter, anything like that I try to do. Because they do allow us to do that at work. But the waiting room... You saw me use the red, the white, the black. They're very pigmented. They go down very easily. They blend very easily as well with a thicker brush. Okay, dense brush. On this one, sadly, you only got to see me. Well, you got to see me use this one, this one, and that one. These are hard to make. Most of the time, they don't give me any color payoff, but this one worked really well. The purples look really nice, really amazing. This one is slightly a richer purple than that one. This one's like um, a bit more pinky than this one. But they do look similar, so that's a little sad. Um, but the two grays here, right here. This one's a warm tone. It looks kind of brown. And this one's a cool tone. It's got kind of like a bluish, grayish, more of a bluish. Not, not as brown tint as this one. But... You got to see those. They're nice. They're good. Would do I think they're worth forty-eight and fifty-eight dollars? Good quality. Good payoff. Good blendability. Packaging's really nice. They even went as far as adding the little imagery here to their little protective sleeves. So if you like Beetlejuice, you like collecting. Yes, I think it's worth the price. If you don't, then no, you don't get many shadows with this at all you honestly don't you can see the little bit of white right there but um that is up to you how you want to spend your money i will give you a bit of a more of a close-up here on what you can see okay so remember some of this is upon skill and how much i'm able to clean it up myself because of the fact of like i said skill level so, I can see this right here. For you guys, it's probably you're like, eh, well, there's a patch. No, I just brought the white up too high. That's just something I had to clean up, and I didn't, and I forgot to. I'll clean that up after this video. But, as you can see, though, like, look at that green. That green is beautiful. The red is wonderful. The black is highly pigmented. The goldy shimmer tone is very vibrant as well. Even that yellowy green tone, the mustardy tone, it shows up nicely on even my skin tone, which I have that weird yellow tone sometimes. It's weird. I don't understand. But as you can see, I don't really have any complaints on this palette. It, like, it's multi-purpose, multi-use. Like, I don't think you'd have any complaints on it, honestly. And it's beautiful packaging. It's nicely weighted. I would go for it if you like things like that it's still on the website still for sale they did have mascaras with it they had lipsticks lip glosses i have it up luckily it has they have um clothing too but yeah they have gel liners the mascara they have the whole collection like the pr box they have that up electric lip paint is what they're calling it the lipsticks yes there we go and they have the mirrors and they have brushes they have brushes with this collection so you can get the whole PR thing for um three fifty. They do do they do have the um I think they use Cecil. I'm sorry, my stomach is growling right now. Like I am starving for no reason. Exaggeration. I'm not starving. I am very hungry. But they do work with Cecil, so you can get your like four little payments with interest free and all that. If you want to go ahead and just get the whole collection, have it really nice. I wanted to get the whole collection, but I have told myself to stop splurging so much and not do that but either way i hope you like this video i hope you enjoy a nice grungy christmas look and i will probably do lighter christmas looks just because i'm gonna need ideas for later in the week either way 
I hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, check out the other videos. I have plenty of other pots I need to review at the moment that I have waiting back here. And I hope next time I find my little tripod. Bye, you guys.